Welcome to part one of my Google Sheets tips and tricks series. We'll be focusing on time-saving tips to help you work more efficiently. Let me and others know if you have a favorite time-saving tip in Google Sheets by leaving a comment below. Tip one. You can quickly create a new Google Sheet by going to the address bar in your internet browser and typing sheets.new. Press enter and a new Google Sheet will be created. Tip two. If you have a large data set that takes a long time to scroll to the bottom of, you can use the hotkeys to jump to the last cell with a value by selecting a cell in your data set and then pressing the control key and the down arrow key at the same time. If you're a Mac user, use the command button and the down arrow key. To get back up to the top, you can use control up. For this to work, you have to go to the help menu and select keyboard shortcuts and then turn on enable compatible spreadsheet shortcuts. Tip three. If you need to select a large set of data, instead of clicking and dragging, you can also use the control shift down hotkey to select an entire column or row. Tip four. If you want to select an entire data set, select any cell in that data set and then press control A. Tip five. You can freeze rows or columns so headers remain visible when scrolling. You can do this by going to the view menu and then selecting freeze and then selecting the columns of the rows that you would like to freeze. You can also do that by dragging these dark lines. Tip six. If you need to delete a row or column, you can do so by right clicking on the row and selecting delete row, but there's a shortcut by highlighting the row and then using the control minus hotkey. If you need to add a row, you can use the control plus hotkey. Tip seven. You can copy and paste or cut and paste by right clicking and selecting cut or copy, and then right clicking another cell and selecting paste. In order for this to work, you have to install the Google Docs offline Chrome extension. This can be done faster by selecting a cell and then using the Control C hotkey to copy or the Control X hotkey to cut, and then select the cell you'd like to paste to and use the Control V hotkey. Tip 8. If you need to fill a row with values, you can enter the value once and then highlight the cells that need to be filled and use the Control D hotkey to autofill. Tip 9. You can quickly undo your last change by using the Control Z hotkey. You can also redo your last action by using the Control Y hotkey. Tip 10. There are shortcuts to formatting numbers that can be helpful in Google Sheets. If you select a cell with a number, you can change the format to a time by using the Control Shift 2 hotkey. You can format it as a date by using the Control Shift 3 hotkey. Using Control Shift 4 will change it to a currency. Control Shift 5 will change it to a percentage. Control Shift 6 will change it to scientific notation. And finally, Control Shift 1 will return it back to the default number format. You can also use the Control Shift 7 hotkey to put a border around a cell. This also works if you select multiple cells at once and then use the Control Shift 7 hotkey. Which of these tips was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you learned something new, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the Tip Bytes logo on the left hand side of the screen. I release new content daily. Check out the videos on the right hand side of the screen for more helpful Google Sheets tips.